Greg, Maya, and Betty are not experts, nor do they claim to be. They're just a bunch of nerds who enjoy talking about movies, shows, and current events. So sit back, grab a coffee, relax, and enjoy a brand new episode of All Queued Up. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of All Queued Up. Your review podcast tied to streaming services like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, yada, yada, yada. You know, you get the drill. I'm your host, Greg Dietz, and with me always is Maya Don Fisher and Betty Badger. How are you two doing today? Pretty good. Um, trying to stay awake. How are you, Maya? <laughs> Tired of waking up at 5 a.m. for the past week. This is some bullshit. But other than that, I'm good. I got my... Finally got my updated debit card yesterday, which, where my name was legally changed. Uh, finally nice. got my debit card yesterday, so I'm going to be spending the day activating my debit card and then changing tons of shit that my debit card is linked to for, you know, bill paying, automatic bill pay, things like that. So that's probably going to take a good couple of hours. So looking forward to that today. Nice. But other than that, I'm good. What about you, Greg? Uh, doing all right. I'm doing all right. Um, we kind of, we, we talked about this, uh, over the weekend, but, uh, I'm still fucking on this, like, let Batman eat pussy kick. It's fucking <laughs> funny. It's so fucking funny. My, uh, oh, my fi- have, have you seen some of the memes that, have, oh yeah, well, I know you've seen some of the memes. Dumb. That's a dumb question. Carry on. No, I just said, no, they're great. Like, if you find out, like, uh, listeners, if you find a meme of this thing, like, send it because it's always funny. Um, I haven't if found a meme that's not going to get old anytime soon in a while. So, if you don't know what we're talking about, there is an animated Harley Quinn show on HBO Max, is it? Yeah, it's uh, it was on DC Universe, but now it's on HBO Max because and then the, is, is it is season three currently airing or it's upcoming? I think it's upcoming or had already aired. Um, anyway, there was a scene involving Batman and Catwoman where Catwoman kind of sp- makes a spready and Batman goes down and starts going. Nah, 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 nah. What's funny um, is you don't, uh, according <clears throat> to what I understand, you don't actually see anything. You just see her laying on the bed. It then shows Batman's face and he goes off camera. That's all you see. So Yeah. But they were forced to pull the scene and when asked why they had to pull the scene, DC exec said, heroes don't <laughs> do that. And I'm here to say, oh, yes, we fucking do. So season three is coming out is what it is. Oh, my God. Late 2021. Oh, my God. It's so fucking funny. Heroes don't do that. I saw one, it was like a group chat between the Flash and Green Arrow and Batman and Superman and Shazam. And uh, Flash was like, well, now they got something to talk about. Now they're not making fun of me where I finish fast, thank goodness. And Green Arrow's like, so, Bruce, you really don't do that, huh? Or was that a lie? He's like, of course it's a lie. What do you think I am, Clark? And Superman's like, hey, that's an unnecessary shot. Who do you think I am, Clark? (laughs) Fucking A, dude. (laughs) So good. It's so fucking funny. Uh, But, you know, the thing is, if heroes don't do it, that would explain why girls tend to go for bad boys. True. It's very true. (laughs) I mean... It's just... My brother on Facebook goes, no, Batman absolutely is pussy because yet like, why do you think the bottom half of his mask doesn't exist? Like he's, he's a hundred percent doing that all the time. Like, have you seen the girls that he's with another? And then, and he goes also think about it. Like, that's why, uh, uh, like thugs are always so disorientated. (laughs) Batman just breathes in their direction. I'm like, dude, you have to stop. (laughs) You have to stop. (laughs) Fucking a. I'm just a girl wondering, on, does he do it with the cow on? And if so, are the horns on the cow flexible or are they going to dig in? Maybe she likes uh, that. I think she's holding on to them. Oh, okay. If he's doing it right at the very least. 
this, this girl on TikTok, she says, uh, um, she goes, have you seen the women that Bruce gets with? There's no way that they're not the dominant force in the bedroom. <laughs> I was like, you know what? You got a fucking point. <laughs> I mean, Selena Kyle, Talia Ghoul. I... Absolutely with Talia, dude. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Oh fuck, yep. that's so funny. But um we're we're, of, we're 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 we here at all queued up are strong advocates for Batman being allowed to go down. Uh heroes do do that. So Yes they do. Um well speaking of uh heroes that definitely go down, uh we're gonna be talking about Loki episode two today. Uh not a segue. Yeah, thank you. Um <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, episode two aired this morning, um, and uh, to to make sure that we are not like you know a week and a half behind, we're going to be you know sacrificing our own uh, uh, sleep schedules to to get this out to you guys. Um, we do this for you. Uh, but yeah, episode two aired last night. We don't have anything after Loki, so we're just gonna. But there's we have a, we have a thing that's kind of planned. It's going to be hilarious. Just go with us here. Um, we but think. yeah, let's get let's get into episode two of Loki. Uh, we we now have a variant Loki that understands he's a variant, understands his his lot in this, um, and we have a variant Loki that is that has something planned. Is trying to kill TVA members or uh, Minutemen, as they call them. Um, a fucking lot happened in this episode. This yeah, it did. There was so much that happens. Like I at first I was like, that had to have been an hour and a half. <laughs> like it was it felt long, but like a good long. Uh I don't know. Like it was uh the fir the first scene with uh uh Miss Minutes and Loki. Well, no, I was talking I was gonna I was talking to, did that happen? No, I'm talking about the scene where the the, the variant Loki uh, kills the Minutemen. And oh. you get uh, that. I'm trying to think of the name of the song. I'm drawing a fucking blank. I need a hero. Need, I need a hero. Thank you. Jesus. Um, here's the thing about that song that, that throws me off. Why was that song played there? If that variant Loki is our villain, why was that song played? I have an idea, I but I'd rather get to the end of the episode to kind of get to that. Oh. Um. Well. We'll that's the there. second time. That's the second time this song has been used in some form of pop culture uh, entertainment in the past week. Because last week, uh, Netflix unveiled the new He-Man Revelations animated series trailer, and that was, it was set to that song. Uh, which, for some reason, that song pumps me the fuck up, mm -hmm. and it got me super pumped for that He-Man show. And it's a good song during during this episode of Loki, it got me pumped up. And every time I hear that song, I always think of the movie Short Circuit 2. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Johnny Five coming to save the day. <laughs> you can always tell someone's age by asking them that, that what that song reminds them, reminds them of. And if it's, and if it's uh, uh, Short Circuit, you know, the, you know what age group they're part of. But if they say Shrek 2, that also should tell you. Um. Well, here's yes, the I thing. When both. I think of when I think of Shrek, I remember both. But when I think of Shrek, I always think of All Star before I think of I Need a Hero. Yeah, All that's Star. Why, is that's why I said way Shrek, Shrek. Yeah, that's why I said Shrek Two because that song I Need a Hero is more associated with Shrek Two than. Oh, I know, but that's every the other one I song associate and all the other Shrek Shreks. Period. Yeah, All Star just oh, no, does I'm all not the other guess. songs in those movies. <laughs> That's why I'm not, I'm not saying it's wrong. One. That's why I was saying, like, if if you ask somebody what movie that reminds them of, if they say Shrek Two, you know what age age range they're a part of. That's why I was saying that. Um, no, I get, I get why, but for some uh, reason, I don't think of Shrek Two, even though I love that movie. Sure, no, I it uh, doesn't that's, come that's to exactly. mind at all. Well, you know what? You know what's funny is when I hear All Star, I don't think of Shrek. I think of a what completely different movie. Which one? The movie that the music video was made for. Which oh. one was that? The mystery. No, Mystery Men. Mystery mm. Men. 
Oh, that's, that's right. It was movie. made. For, I love mystery, man. And I forgot, a lot of people I totally don't know. Forgot like, about that. Um, I uh, was in a Twitch chat a long time ago, and I got really irritated because I said, um, "I know that a lot of people think of Shrek when they think of the song, which is fine because it's associated with that movie pretty strongly." But the song wasn't even made for Shrek. It was made for in a completely different movie. And and I said, uh, can anyone guess what movie that is? And some guy was like, it's obviously Shrek. Don't try to fucking trick us, as asshole. And I was like, okay, wow. fucking calm down, first off. Secondly, go look up the fucking Mystery Man music video for it. Because that's the only music video for this fucking song. Ass. Yeah. Um. Anyway, we're getting off topic here. Uh, yeah, back to Loki. Um. So keep that scene in mind where the variant is killing the Minutemen because I want to come back to that when we hit the okay. end of the episode. Um, okay. Most of this episode is hilarious and delightful banter between Loki and Morbius. Mobius. Mobius, I'm sorry. I Morbius. Thinking of the thinking of the living vampire. Uh um yeah. not looking forward to that maybe later. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know jack shit about that. Um, the 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 chemistry between Tom Hiddleston and Owen Wilson is fucking amazing. Yes, we've all said that. I've got friends who've said that. Me and Jeff were talking about that this morning. It, they could not have pulled it off with a better team because they just the synergy from the two of them when they're bantering back and forth. It's perfect. It is absolutely oh, yeah. perfect. It's like watching a dance happen. You know, I love absolutely. it. 100%. I love it. Uh, the scene where they're in the cafeteria and, and Loki's explaining how, where the variant could be hiding and it's a salad. Oh my God. Oh, so using fucking the, funny. The, using his lunch as a metaphor for the fucking apocalypse. Yeah. You know, and and there's just part of him. You know that he's just fucking with his fucking lunch just because he fucking can. Try to because he's the point. god of mischief. Yeah. Uh, it's like, what's that got to do with my salad? Don't don't put more salt on there. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, even when even like early on after after they go to that uh, that Ren Fair in '85, and Loki tries to trick them. And uh, Mobius sees right through it. After that, after that whole situation, and then uh, Mobius talks to Renslayer, and she's like, "He has one more chance." And then the scene where they're walking through the corridor, and Mobius is genuinely fucking irritated with Loki, and Loki's trying to talk to him. Even that scene had amazing chemistry. And I'm like, "Oh yeah, why? Why in the fuck are we now getting Tom Hiddleston and Owen Wilson in a movie?" Or show. Like, why now and not, you know, some other, like, oh my god. Could you imagine them as Sherlock and, and Holmes? Yeah. You mean yeah. Sherlock and Watson? Yes, that's what I meant to say. My brain was just excited. Stop. Stop, brain. Stop doing your shit. <laughs> um, yes, Sherlock and Watson. I imagine your brain is just like a puppy dog that's wagging its tail and super excited to see you when it gets going and it just pisses all over the place because it can't help it. Oh yeah, it's that's a what your brain is to me. Really, yeah, it's a golden retriever with bad bowels. Uh, hundred percent. Um, so it shits everywhere. Oh my god! Yeah, we've done this podcast okay. for three and a half years. You should know this by now. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> I thought my joke was great. Uh. Uh. No, I just I'd love to like I could I could fucking watch them do a word puzzle for an hour. Like it's that entertaining to watch them together. Uh, the scene though that stands out in my mind probably the most is the scene where Loki basically challenges uh, Mobius's um, idea of what the TVA is and the belief structure and all that kind of stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. And that kind of goes into what I think the bad guy variant Loki is doing or the villain variant. Uh, I think that with all the variants that have been caught by the TVA when it comes to Loki, this was the one that saw through the, the charade that the uh, timekeepers are, are doing. People who read the comic know that the TVA is kind of shitty in general. Um, 
But in the first episode, you see a lot of that through the propaganda. The posters on the wall behind everybody, the, the fucking Miss, uh, Miss Minutes video. It's super fucking propaganda-y. Like, like as if the fucking timekeepers don't actually have a lot of power. And they just pretend to have a lot of power, which Loki addresses in this, like, multiple times. He even mm-hmm. calls the TVA uh, videos propaganda. And I was like, man, this show is just hitting all the fucking good notes that are scratching that part of my brain. Um, Does his but, little legs start kicking when you do oh it? Oh, my God. Get scratched? I, yeah, and, like, it just <laughs> pees a little bit. You're like, ah, oh, come on. Buddy. Oh. Um. <laughs> I don't know, like, this is this has got to be my favorite uh, uh, MCU show so far. Like, two episodes in, and it's already your favorite out of the three that we've gotten now. Like, I think about WandaVision, and I think about Falcon and Winter Soldier. And Falcon and Winter Soldier is great, but it's it's the lowest one so far. But And WandaVision was really fucking cool. Um, but when it started to, like, break the, the facade, <laughs> and you started seeing through the the mesh i was like okay now we're just finishing the story and that's great but like the stuff before that was really cool and like the the different eras of 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 shows but like this is this is playing with something different um this is trying to build something more natural in a very cosmic way and i just i i oh well, you know, and you've got that, that buddy system there that was also there in um, Winter or Falcon, Falcon Winter and Winter Soldier. Soldier. Yeah. But again, the way these two play off of each other is just fabulous. It's, I mean, nobody could pull it off like they do. You know, if they picked anybody else for Owen Wilson's, Wilson's role, I don't see it going as well as it is right now. So. That's a big, totally agree. you know, plus in their favor. Now, as to whether it's my favorite so far, that remains to be seen. We're only on episode two, but yeah, I am enjoying the hell out of it. I love all the different, you know, again, being in the uh, TVA. Uh, it, it's a different world, and it, you know, they've encountered so many different Lokis in so many different forms. But has a single one of them been female? Because they didn't show one. Right. And this one, you know, is likely to be. And uh, I'm curious as to what this Loki's motive is, as paired, opposed to the Loki that we know from previous movies, who's the protagonist in this one is. So I have I have an idea as to what why this Loki is doing what they're doing. Um. But I again, I don't want to spoil it until we get to that section of the conversation. Um, uh, no, I wholeheartedly agree with you, Betty. I mean, it's 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 fascinating to see where the story is going because they're taking a lot of time to really build the TVA to build this idea of 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 a multiverse. And um, uh, one of the one of the variants that they showed when they were going, cycling through all the Lokis that they've caught was actually one directly from the comics. It was the Viking Loki. Mm -hmm. Uh, Though the fucking Tour de France one was hilarious. Mm -hmm. That one is by far the funniest one. Uh, Makes you wonder if if that one was Lance Armstrong. (laughs) You know what? Wouldn't put it past him. Um Oh, I laugh really fucking hard when they went. So the scene um, where they decide to go to uh, what city was it in uh, 2050? Pompeii. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, I don't remember. I know they went to Pompeii. Yeah, that right was before. interesting. That, that was, was cool. Funny. Uh, the fucking dynamic between those two guys in that scene was so good. Um, hold on, I'm looking it up because that's gonna kill me. But uh, the the part where they walk in through the ro- the rocks cart. By the way, just to point this out too, the fact that they're s- very subtly making rocks on a thing in the MCU through this mm-hmm. particular thing is so cool. Um. 
uh, f for you, Betty, because I know you don't read the comics. Uh, Roxxon is a very evil corporation in the in the comics. I would assume. Um, but uh, the scene where they walk in through the front door and Loki's soaked, and then he fucking magic trails like, off. Yeah, she's like, "The fuck was that?" It's like oh, I use some magic to dry my clothes. I don't want to walk around and have my shoes squeaking and announce my presence like every one of you. <laughs> <laughs> Alabama. It was in Alabama. Oh yeah, Alabama. That's funny. Um, that was killing me. Uh, but yeah, no, that was fucking hilarious. Uh, and then um, the conversation between the the variant Loki and our Loki. It was so cool because knowing that the Loki that we've had for the past 12 years or up to this point, um, like his story is done. And so this is a completely new Loki that we mostly know. Uh, Loki, Loki, come here. <laughs> and we got a guest star, Loki. Come here, Loki. Uh, and then the banter between those two via the way that she was doing it. By the way, that's the spoiler. It's Lady Loki, but I've kind of known that for a hot minute. Um, yeah, a lot of people suspected that it was going to be a female Loki, uh, and I'm yeah. happy that it is. No, it's awesome. I It was really funny I, when they revealed that. Uh, my dad was like, wait, why is that Loki a woman? And I was like, <laughs> uh, welcome to Loki being gender fluid. And he goes, wait. I thought Loki was a dude. And I was like, Loki is a whatever the fuck Loki wants to be. And dad's like, well, since when? I was like, since the Norse times, since when he was ridden. <laughs> like, <can't>, like <laughs> he's always been like, does he want to be a horse? He can be a horse. Does he want to be a duck? He can be a duck. Does he want to be a woman? In he fact, can be a woman. In fact, wasn't Loki a horse and impregnated the mm -hmm. horse that gave birth to sleep near? Yep. Mm hmm <clears throat> yep, yep. So, uh, yeah. So my dad was just very like taken aback by that because he's like, I didn't fucking know, and I was like, yeah, I didn't want to say anything. Not only is he gender fluid, he's species fluid. Yeah. Same for Odin. He did a lot of that as well. Uh, I can't recall any of the other gods who were shape shifting around like that, but yeah, Odin did some very. Um, Naughty things when oh, yeah. in Greek he was shape shifting. Zeus, in Greek mythology, Zeus did as well. Yeah, he had to though, because if he didn't turn into a human and they saw his godly powers, he they would kill. They it would kill them. That's what happened to uh, the mother of Dionysus. Uh, she insisted that he show him her powers because Hera whispered to her this should happen. If he's really Zeus, he'll show you his godlike powers. And he promised her any promise she wished. So she said, I wish to see your godlike powers. I want you to prove your Zeus. He was very upset, but he did it. And it incinerated her, but little... Um, Baby Dionysus was still okay, so he sewed him up in his leg and uh, until he was ready to be born, and then he took him to an island to be raised because, you know, hair is a jealous bitch. But yeah, that, that, that was the main difference between, you know, those gods and the Greek gods. If the Greek gods showed you their power, you were dead, you were smited, that was it, you know. No. That was their beyond humanity moment right there. Yeah. I've I've said a hundred fucking times that uh, Norse, Roman, Greek, all those gods, uh, arguably fucking Egyptian gods, are all like giant pieces of shit. Um, well, they're all human. They all embody human aspects. Right, right. Yeah, that that was the difference. The huge difference between any type of um, pagan pantheon and a monotheistic religion. The god that. Judaic religions worship today are not humanistic. You know, Jesus was that God's way of trying to figure out how to be human. And it, I don't think he succeeded very well personally, but okay. you know, yeah, I agree. I think that's, what's also fascinating to me about, um, uh, religions with multiple gods is that this the stories that come out of that are always 
really, really fascinating about these gods being deeply, deeply, deeply flawed. Um, the game that I played uh, here recently, last year, actually, when I say recently, like it's been less than a year since I played it, um, which is, uh, I can't think of the name of the game suddenly. Immortals Phoenix Rising. Thank you, Immortals. Uh, that was earlier this year. That was in the spring. Yeah. Late winter, was early it? spring. Yeah. Yeah. We were just talking about it a couple of months ago. I fucking swear to God, I played it in December. Um, the uh, the gods that are in it, because it doesn't have every god. Um, yeah. They they have to to come to terms with the fucked up shit that they've done. That's the whole point of like their story, their individual stories, is that they're trapped because of their arrogance and their attitudes towards that kind of stuff. So uh, when um, that's a very strange take on North mythology, but okay. Oh no, no, Phoenix Rising is Greek. Oh okay. Uh, yeah, I thought we were still on Norse. I was like, no, what? sorry, that was yeah, no, I was just I was just pointing out that like my favorite thing about it was that when you go and save the gods in order to for them to become godlike again and not trapped in 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 whatever you know the i don't say demon but um whatever he's trapped them in uh they have to overcome something that they've done that's really fucked up so like uh, uh aphrodite has to overcome the fact that um she what was it that she did she she slept with somebody or she forced somebody to sleep with somebody or something like that and uh it was a uh well aphrodite was the downfall of troy i don't think i think they mentioned that in the game but i don't remember because again the game you know takes the idea of the gods and plays with them it's not none of what the game does oh, is, yeah. is is uh i won't say historically accurate but you get my point when i say historically uh but yeah the, the point i'm getting at because we're getting off track here with loki uh the 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 idea that gods are flawed and that gods, even though they have powers and even though they're omnipotent when it comes to human stuff, they're, they fuck up all the time. And uh, um, I love that Marvel kind of plays with that with the Norse gods. So that's all I was trying to get at. Was a yeah, he shows the, they show the fact that they're not perfect. You know, Thor makes mistakes. Loki definitely makes mistakes. And, you know, if you read any of the Norse mythology, you know, all the gods are very, very flawed in one way or another. This is what makes their stories also great, too. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so, so coming but, back to that opening scene and your suspicions about the use of that song in particular, then. So my 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 idea behind that is Loki, the our Loki main shows loki uh so i'm gonna say loki and lady loki just to kind of make the difference plus kuokla that's what she's known as lady loki um uh when loki talks about what the tva is and wanting to take it over and 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 just kind of like the belief structure like that conversation it's very clear to me that the tva is not a good force they are a force that kind of does some fucked up stuff. Loki mentions this in early on where he says something along the lines of, of um, they, they call it uh, uh, resetting. And he's like, uh, that's a very nice way to say like uh, um, vaporize. Yeah. Disintegration. Disintegration. Yeah. Um, and, and I, I think about that and I go, yeah, like the TVA just kind of does things without a second thought. Um, and uh, uh, what's fascinating to me about that concept is that I, the Lady Loki has known this for a long time and wanted to do something. So by her destroying the, the TVA to an extent to where all of those branch timelines started happening at once, she's the hero. She's arguably the hero of the story. Uh, that the TVA is wrong. The TVA is, in a sense, the actual villain of the show. And that Lady Loki is not. That's, that's why I think they did that. 
So do you think that in doing this <clears throat> that they could be setting up, you know, to have an established fixed multiverse? Oh, yeah. 100%. 100%. The fact that in the propaganda video in the first episode, uh, she uses the words multiverse and madness twice. Is, yeah, and, that, and wasn't, like that wasn't a subtle, that wasn't a very subtle allusion uh, uh, to the upcoming Doctor Strange movie. Yeah, no, it was, it was not even remotely subtle. Um, so yeah, I think that this is this was a way to get the multiverse kind of set in the MCU. Uh because in the comics, it gets a little bit more complicated because there are alternate timelines that the TVA never fucks with. Yeah. So it's, it's, you kind of have to have a, like a central, a central lot through line when it comes to doing that for these movies, which is totally so fucking fine. But is there a plan for a future movie that will feature all these multiverses? Yeah. Um, uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Was, okay, I was wondering if that was going to be it. Arguably, from what we understand, the third um, uh, Spider-Man Spider movie will deal with Multiverse 2. Oh, okay. So, we'll see. I honestly don't know, but like the uh, um, Portugal uh, Twitter account for, for Marvel or the one that uses the uh, the language spoken in Portugal. Um, Portuguese. What can I the Portuguese. It's okay. Really it's hate okay. my settle, brain. Settle down, Peppy. <laughs> At least you didn't uh, say Spanish, which a lot of Americans think that Portuguese speaks Spanish. So that's true. That's true. I knew it wasn't Spanish. <laughs> like someone in Brazil was like, "We don't speak Spanish." I was like, "Yeah, I know. I know you, you guys speak I know, Portuguese." Is what I remembered at the time, but apparently right now my brain's like, "Nope, fuck you." I'm like, "Cool, thanks, thanks for that." Uh, yeah, it's Latin Portuguese. Um, yeah. Uh, the oh, that's right. The Portugal. I was like, Marvel. the Portugal Marvel Twitter account accidentally put out a, a small like video that uh, showed the logo for uh, Spider Man No Way Home, and at the end of the small video, the Spider Man logo glitches very similarly to the end of the Spider Verse logo. Hmm. And it wasn't supposed to come out like they had to take it down pretty quickly. But thanks oh. to Slash Film on Twitter, they they showed it. I was like, thank you. So I believe personally that the fucking it, No Way Home is definitely going to be multiverse. To what extent? Well, with, with the rumors that have been, you know, supposed leaks for months now, I mean, everybody's pretty sure that it's going to be dealing with a multiverse. Yeah. Well, th that was the other thing is that one of the actors from the Morbius sh uh, movie has said publicly, like, yeah, we're part of the MCU. I don't think he was supposed to say that, but he did. So what I genuinely think is going to happen is that a, a Spider-Man villain is going to want to kill the crime Spider-Man. So evil. <laughs> so Puppy. evil. <laughs> Which one is that? This right now is Steven. He is Steven. angry. <laughs> but yes, when he's he not angry, he's Milo. <laughs> okay. Oh, so he has, he has dissociative identity disorder. Yes, he does. <laughs> hey, stop. Okay, that's enough. I'm sorry I put you on camera. All right, go on. Okay. I've done a bad thing. He's letting you have it now. Uh, but yeah, I think I think that's that's the whole point of of that song is that Lady Loki is actually a hero. That Lady Loki is trying to stop the TVA from being the this overbearing authoritarian force that doesn't need to exist. <laughs> TVA is a helicopter mom. Well, I just, you know, like, that's another thing is, like, the the um, the Living Tribunal, like, has has told the fucking TVA to, to stop meddling where they don't belong multiple times in the comic. Yeah. Granted, we don't, we don't have the fucking Living, tri living Tribunal yet, but, and I say yet because God knows that we might. 
Um, there's also another theory that, uh, so Kang the Conqueror is coming in, in uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And um, we know who's playing Kang the Conqueror. I can't remember his name, but he was the main actor in um, uh, Lovecraft Country. That guy. Okay. People have have like looked at that that middle timekeeper in the the first episode. Yeah, That's, they're thinking he looks very much like Kang. Uh huh. So I think that that's not a far off fucking thing that could it, happen. Well, when I was watching this morning's episode and those three statues showed up in Renslayer's chambers in their office, mm -hmm. I was like, "Why is Kang there?" I literally <laughs> thought, "I was like, why are we seeing a statue of Kang?" And then I realized, "Oh wait, that's the Timekeepers." But but it but, could be Kang. Because that's yeah. the thing about Kang is that in the comics, he's uh, he could be anyone at any time, literally. Like, I, I don't know if he has shape-shifting ability, but he definitely has shape-shifting ability. Like, he can be anyone he wants at any given time. Like, he was he was uh, um, Genghis Khan at one time. He was uh, Napoleon Bonaparte at one time. Like, he's... You never know who or where he's going to be, but whatever he's doing is to intentionally manipulate. So maybe Lady Loki knows that Kang is one of the timekeepers and is trying to stop it. But I don't. I think the TVA is the ultimate villain in the show. They really do. He was also Ramatet. Um, mm hmm. So. Yep. Yep. But well, uh, do we want to throw it a grade or? Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was just about to say that. Uh, Betty, why don't you go ahead and give your final thoughts in a grade first? Um, I liked it again. I think that uh, the casting is proven to be brilliant in this. The story is advancing nicely. Um, it's left me intrigued. Uh, so I will definitely give it an A plus for this one. Uh, I was, I was very happy. You know, even though it was seven o'clock in the morning, I was very happy. <laughs> so, <laughs> what about you, Maya? I'll definitely give it an A. Um, I, I love the fucking. Uh, relationship and the chemistry between uh, Mobius and Loki uh, and how everybody else, even though Mobius knows that it's a, you know, he can't be trusted, how everybody else is so adamant that it's a horrible idea. And even he admits, yeah, it's a horrible idea, but it's the best shot we've got, you know, but the, the, their banter between the two of them, uh, it's just, it's fun. It's refreshing. Um, uh, you know, I'm really intrigued to see how this is going to unwrap. I'm super excited to see more of Lady Loki. I wish we had gotten more of her in this episode. But, yeah, when you know, it was almost a given that's who it was going to be. But when she peeled the hood back and revealed herself and he was looking at her like, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, that was an exciting moment. So, loving the show. Uh, can't wait for more. What about you, Greg? Uh, totally agree on everything you guys have said. Um, it's uh, Sophia DiMartino is a fantastic actress, so I'm stoked to see more scenes with her, uh, especially as a fucking Loki variant. Like that's so fucking cool. Um, the uh, the chemistry between Owen and and Tom is fucking palpable. I I just I can't get enough of the show, and that's the thing. This episode would get an A, 100%. But I'm actually going to give it an A+, plus because not only is it fucking fantastic, but it scratches that part of my brain that I fucking love. There's a... I, I can't get enough of multiversal stuff. Um, if you... Like, one of my favorite jokes is that in the multiverse, you, there's, there, you know, you're Batman. Because there's infinite multiverse. There's infinite variants. Um, I'm going to be Batman. Well, in a world you are. I mean, you're well, the world, you're I'm not Iron Man I'm, in the world. You're Spider Man. I mean, I, I do the. No, 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 no. I don't want to be Batman. <laughs> told I can't do that. Uh, you know, you know who also goes down? Lady Loki. She 100 percent does. Um. Anyway, I just I fucking love this show. I can't get enough. Like I I think this is gonna be 
arguably one of the best stories that Marvel's done in a hot minute. Like, don't get me wrong, loving everything they've come out with for years now, but um, this is something that's just going to fucking stick with me because of the multiversal stuff. So I'm, I'm, I cannot wait till next Wednesday. Like, I just, it's, it's so fucking good. So A plus, A plus all around. All right. Um, well, now that we're done with Loki, uh, why don't we go ahead and do the thing we were talking about before we started? <laughs> so, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, there's a, I don't want to call it a trend. It's not really a trend, but it's definitely funny. Um, a lot of local news Facebook accounts will have commenters, usually boomers, who don't really know what the fuck talking about will always, but always have an opinion about something. Um, specifically the local one near Betty and Maya. Uh, <laughs> yeah, our, our regional, uh, NBC broadcast station is the call sign is WCYB and their comment section on their Facebook page on every article that they post, uh, you know, about is, I can't, I had to stop reading that stuff. <laughs> it would get me so infuriated. Yeah, just absolutely. reading the comments. It's just because you see so much hatred and ignorance and stupidity. And it's, the vitriol is just awful. Uh, I, I just, I, I've gotten to the point where I've like, I don't look at any comments. I will see the articles because, you know, I want to know what's going on in the area. Uh, but I don't want to read about what any of these fucking troglodytes have to say about it. What I think is really funny is when somebody who is of uh, a higher intelligence than half of them comes in and just says something to fucking push buttons. God, that's mm -hmm. funny. Like I used to do all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I used to, uh, oh, I loved going in there and getting people riled up, but that could get draining. Oh yeah, and yeah. I was just like, I'm committing way too much energy to this, um, you know. And while it is amusing, and it, you know, I've made a few friends over it, um, and lost a few as well. But yeah, you know, didn't hurt my feelings any. Trust me. Um, no, it, it's just it takes a lot out of you mentally to deal with those people and their comments to absorb and their views. that negativity yes and that's what it is it just it feels like greasy slime on your body and you want to shower afterwards you're not wrong but i do notice that is a lot of the comment sections anywhere you go these days that's true yeah um, there was something that happened during e3 uh, that I was, I was, I thought was like, I thought was fine, but like the comment section was just all negative shit. And I'm just like, and the problem is, is that if you're happy with something, if you're okay with something, you're not usually going to leave like a really like vitriolic comment. You're going to, you're either going to leave it alone or say something nice. And nine times out of 10, you're just going to leave it alone. And, um, that's something that I have to constantly tell myself is don't look at the comments because it's just going to irritate me. Just yeah. going to piss you off. <laughs> but, uh, so the reason we're bringing all this up <laughs> okay. is, is Betty has, Betty has, uh, selected an article this morning and she's going to read some random comments from it. And Greg and I, are going to try and guess what the article is even referring to based on these comments. <laughs> yeah, and you know, I'll give each one of you a point if you figure out the what it, you know, what the overall subject is, like, you know, and if you figure out two of the people who are in it. Okay. But I'm going to try and pick comments what, that if we can it, Bonus points if we can name the actual commenter. 
Uh, I wouldn't do that on this show just for liability <laughs> reasons, but also, who the fuck? How am I gonna know anybody? <laughs> yeah, you know, I. You read I, enough I of those want... comments, you know some of the regulars. Yeah, I just don't want anybody trolled because of us. So. <laughs> yeah. That's true. So the first comment is, uh, "You're great," spelled Y O U R. Um, second one is should ban that reporter from asking any questions again we are sick and tired of people trying to turn everything into a race issue that crap is over okay so it's got to be okay so if it's a reporter then that means it was a situation where there was a uh, like a press conference of some kind. Yes. Okay. Oh, oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, it was about the uh, the Congress or not Congress, maybe Senate passing a bill to make Juneteenth a holiday. Nope. Damn it. Keep going. Um, I'm going to keep going. Biden's in bed with China. <laughs> that tells me nothing. <laughs> no. Trump is the best president ever. God's got his back. Can't wait for his return. <laughs> that also tells me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he shouldn't only be fired. He should have charges brought against him. Okay, so okay, is this about the um, police officer who was off duty? Nope. Uh, in Tennessee, and pulled his service weapon on a pedestrian. Oh, nope. no. Nope. Okay, it's a race relations issue for sure, or at least well, it can be. It can. Be. I knew all it? this, but no one listened to me at all. This stuff was deliberately done to the country to try and turn us into freaking communist country to control us. Oh, my God. Might this He's... have to do with COVID? It does. Okay. Huh. Race relations in COVID. It's clearly a pet press conference about something. Oh, damn. Something involving Fauci, maybe. I'm thinking, mm -hmm. yeah, like ding, 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 ding. Fauci's one of them. Okay. Nice, About time people woke up, educated themselves, and stopped conforming to this BS. I pray people stop wearing masks and taking these potentially fatal vaccinations. Is it is is uh, Jen Pataki part of it? No. Damn it. All right, wow. keep going. I'm looking. I like this one. Uh, this is a good one. Maybe MTG's Jewish space lasers cause COVID. <laughs> Looney woman needs to find a corner somewhere and be quiet. Oh, oh, I have an idea. Is it is it uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, talking about the Fire Fauci Act? Yep, you're a winner. Fucking God <laughs> damn nice. that's a that took too long. <laughs> that nice. was great. And if you, if they hadn't used the fucking initials MTG, mm -hmm. we would still be guessing. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. it came to me as soon as Greg's like, oh, oh, oh. And I was like, oh, I know where this is going. But I, was, I forgot. I watched that yesterday. I totally fucking forgot about it. Well, watched it. I watched two minutes of it. <laughs> oh, here's a good one. Someone needs to be punished for murder for planting this virus on us. My mothering law suffocated to death. Horrible death last week. Did you vaccinate her? No. Yeah. <laughs> By the that, way, my that, mom's getting her second shot today, so that's cool. That's fuck yeah. Yeah, my, Madison got her second shot, so we are all three fully vaccinated. Yes, my 14-year-old daughter Yay, is fully vaccinated. Here. And fuck you if you have a problem with that. 
<laughs> mm-hmm. She do. wanted the vaccination. So and she's old enough to make that decision. Same exactly. with Lydia. Uh, but her body, her choice. Exactly. But yeah, th- that's just an example of 10 comments on one article. And I'm sure that. Whew, Here's mo- one the- for you. Okay. Who is this woman and what's this about? <laughs> I mean, I said every time that this person's been hiding thing. under a rock, bless their heart. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing about that whole situation was when those emails got leaked. They didn't get leaked. They're just now public record. That's it. Like his emails have to be public record after a certain point. And they were just emails. Like there was nothing in them that's even remotely fucking damning. But I swear to God, these morons think that there is. So fucking funny. Talking about Fauci's emails. but Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Turn my camera back on now. I didn't want y'all to see my face while I was doing this. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, the other the, the other thing about like uh, when you were reading all those is you were like Trump is the best president. Oh, and those I, were all caps. <laughs> oh, well, I don't doubt it for a second. Uh, if it was all caps, it was coming out loud. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I was gonna say like it can be a completely innocuous fucking post that uh, a news post and somebody will say that mm-hmm. yeah it, so it's just, but one of my favorite arguments when somebody says something dumb because a lot of the commenters are based in northeastern tennessee um when somebody says something dumb i always like well you know there's a reason that tennessee is 38th in the nation in education and you're living proof of that (laughs) oh they get so angry (laughs) and they're like yeah where are you from dumbass virginia is like yeah we're seventh in the nation (laughs) having gone to both virginia schools and tennessee schools i can tell you virginia is way ahead oh yeah way ahead even back then they were way ahead yeah, you know, mm-hmm. so Tennessee doesn't care. No, they care about trying to make the Bible the state book. Um, they care about doing away with all fucking permits so it can be a completely open carry, license free gun state, just like Texas is trying to do. Um, but it's okay to regulate your car. Yeah. You know, I mean, back in, I think it was like, 2001 2002 they decided to uh make people have insurance oh people lost their minds over that you know yeah they didn't they swore up and down they'd never do that they didn't require inspection stickers or insurance on your car and now that they do people fucking flip their shit and it was that was always people's excuse for not moving to virginia side and i'm like y'all are crazy I'd rather be somewhere where if I get hit, I know that bastard's got fucking insurance to cover my ass. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Um, one of the oh, things speaking that- of, we almost got hit by a motorcycle yesterday <laughs> while we were getting off the um, Interstate 81 and going on to I-26. Traffic mm-hmm. was crazy. The cars were slowed down to 55. I'm doing 55. There's cars coming on the Clover trying to get onto the interstate. I have to slam on my brakes when the person in front of me slams on their brakes. And this motorcycle, you just watch him in the back. He almost bit the ground. He ended up with his hand on my car. I was like, dude, pay attention. This is not my fault, you know. I, it was very obvious we were not going at the 65 miles an hour that was posted. You should have known. Oh, it's insane. Traffic's been crazy around here lately. That, that's the thing. I've read, you know, people who migrate to this region um, have talked about how the worst drivers they have ever seen in their lives are in northeastern Tennessee. <laughs> Excuse me. I, 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 <laughs> I think I broke Betty. Uh, I've seen people, former California Highway Patrolmen, moved here and they're like, you know, I thought the drivers in California were bad. 
I'd give anything for California drivers right now. Oh my goodness. I, you literally, when you go onto a stone drive in Kingsport, you're taking your life into your hands. Oh yeah. Because of, I think the posted speed is like 35 and people do like 55, 60. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you had the grandpas doing 25, mm -hmm. you know? So, mm -hmm. I mean, you're fucked. But Interstate 81 has become a huge clusterfuck lately. And here at 19, they're redoing the intersections. And they've turned um, where you get off onto the left-hand side to go towards Bristol. You, mm -hmm. It's all one lane now, not two lanes. And they've got all these new stop signs up and stuff. And I'm like, God. I fucking hate this because I remember when I could get from my house to the interstate in like five minutes and it takes 15 at least now because that freaking Walmart and shit they've built up there. Yeah. Oh, Yay. God. We had a situation the other day while we were door dashing that um, my dad was going 10 over the speed limit on this road and a guy fucking flies past us and we're like jesus dude like how fast are you fucking going and then another car flies past us we're like Did they change the speed limit on this fucking road um turns out uh no they didn't people are just morons mm -hmm. that's the best story i got for y'all no people have been like it, it was really weird like when california started to kind of get back into opening back up like the traffic got really thick again and we were pretty fucking confident that a lot of people forgot how to drive they were just cutting I think several of them yes oh it's so bad um though my dad cracks me up because he'll he'll you know he'll have a little bit of road rage and he'll like do that like my favorite part is when he's driving he's just like this motherfucker like and i'm like why are you just i get that you're upset but fucking you know break your neck because you mean mugging him the whole time Though, because I have issues with confrontation, I hate it. Like, he doesn't at all. But he constantly forgets that he can't walk. <laughs> and I'm like, you know that I'm going to have to, like, fight for you, right? Like, can you shut your mouth? Yeah. Your laugh? Uh, the other day, we were uh, delivering an order, and there was this truck. And I shit you not, not only was it covered in fucking conservative stickers, specifically Trump stickers. It had two flags, one being a giant Trump flag, the other being that Rambo amalgamation flag. Um, and, uh, but there was something written on the, on the truck, like every fucking spot was covered by, by some kind of writing. And it was uh, what they had written on, what I could tell was it was the constitution in like Sharpie or probably <laughs> permanent marker. And it was hilarious. Uh, and my dad and I were like, we were laughing about it, but everyone's windows down. Cause it's like a nice fucking 80 degrees out. And, uh, we drive past my dad just goes, ah, ha, 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 ha. I'm like, what, what was the point of that? And he goes, what? And I was like, now, like, what did you get out of that? Do you feel better that you did that? And he was like, no, I don't feel any better. And I was like, right. And now that dude's going to go home and fucking hit his wife because he's pissed off now. Like, I don't know <laughs> what the point of this was. You're not wrong. <laughs> Heather is a backseat driver, side seat driver, whatever you want to call it. And it drives me nuts. So the, one of the things I hate the worst is having someone telling me how to drive better. And it's like, bitch, who's not got a ticket? Who's not been pulled over? Oh, yeah, that's me. You know, I'm like, don't tell me how to fucking drive. You know, yeah. you can get faster. I'm going five miles over the speed limit already. Leave me alone. You know, <laughs> man, Virginia State Troopers don't play. They will fucking give they you a ticket in a heartbeat. And if it's you like, are, you know, on Tennessee Even, side, they're rarely there. But again, I'm I'm not asking for shit. You know, the posted speed limit sixty five. I think doing seventy two is just okay. You know, everybody else around me can pass me. I don't care. At least I'm going to get there safe. And, and in Virginia, if you're doing seventy two and that posted sixty five, they won't hesitate to pull you over. Oh hell no! But if, if you do around seventy five and the seventy, they don't mind. You know, as long as you don't like slam on your brakes, making you look suspicious, you know. 
which a lot of people do. Do you guys have the same issue that uh, we have over here? Uh, I'll give you an example of what happened, and you guys can tell me if it happens there too. But um, I had to pick up an order at a uh, Applebee's the other day, and uh, as uh, as we, um, and I don't know why people willingly order from Applebee's. Like going out to eat at Applebee's, I kind of get you know, like you order something that's you know not going to give you indigestion, or and you order a cocktail, done and done. But like to actively order DoorDash from Wendy's, I'm like, hey, it's not going to be from Wendy's or Applebee's. Sorry, I meant Applebee's. My bad. I don't know why I keep saying Wendy's. Uh, We pull up and there's like six cop cars. No joke. And I was like, oh, something major happened. As I walk up, this dude who is slightly intoxicated and is like bad mouthing the cops um, is being arrested. That's it. That's all it was. Six cop cars, twelve cops. Oh, for one slightly drunk dude. Yeah, yeah. There's always an overwhelming show of force, uh, the presence, to illustrate we're here and we're going to mess you up if we have to. And that's why when you have real emergencies, the cops aren't ever around because it takes six of them to take down one drunk guy. No, because they're all right. fucking, they're, they're all like dying to shoot somebody. So they're like, oh, someone's being an asshole and an, and an Applebee's? Hold on, let me make sure my gun's loaded. So speaking of guns and cops, you know, yesterday when we were creating our characters for D&D and then Sheena went on mute and it went quiet for a bit. Oh, yeah. This is my, my sister in law. Um, she came in the back and she's like, there's like four cop cars in our driveway. Turns out some asshole had been shooting a gun all day. They had an AK-47, and they were firing it at a target on the hill behind their house and actually struck a couple of buildings and a few cars in the Planet Fitness parking lot across the street from their house. They had been outside doing yard work all day uh, because of that horrible storm from a couple from Sunday night that broke uh, the top off of a huge, like, 60-foot-tall pine tree in their yard. It went through the roof of the neighbor's house. It blew Sheena's greenhouse away, scattered her plants all over fucking hell in creation. And they were outside mowing the yard and cleaning up the yard and everything, just getting things back to normal all day yesterday. And they could have been hit by a stray fucking AK bullet. Mm Mm-hmm. So she's all to pieces right now, and I don't fucking blame her. It's awful. You know, of course, you know, naturally cops show up in their driveway because they wanted to get not a direct line of approach. They wanted to find this person. They were taking it very seriously and good for them. You know, I'm glad they were taking it seriously, but holy shit, man. It's just fucking nuts. Yeah, that's fucked up. Hello, South. How do you know you're from the? How how can you tell people you're from the south without saying from your from the south? Here's mine. Yeah, no shit. My high school there was a no gun policy, but yet you could park your fucking truck in the fucking with a shotgun rack and shotgun in the fucking window on the on the school parking lot because shotguns are legal. Could, you don't uh, run when you hear gut, gunshots. I mean, because it's an everyday occurrence around here. There's always going to be gunshot at some point during the day. There's rednecks and guns. It just happens. It's, yeah. There was, I know there was this one guy got called, the, somebody called the cops on uh, around here uh, because he was firing a gun and the gunshots were coming in front in, in from inside of his house. And it turns out he was shooting at flies with his shotgun <laughs> inside his house. I mean, come on. God passed the time somehow, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, uh, you know what's funny about the, where I live in California is that a lot of people um, who, who live in the South, who, who grew up on the East, Co- East, East Coast, they view California very much like how you think of Beverly Hills. Um, the, the videos that you've seen of Beverly Hills are 100% what Beverly Hills looks like. However, there's always like that, that side street or that like pl- place that's really close to Beverly Hills. That's completely shitty and run down. Yeah. And that's, that's where you're going to have most of your crime. Um, but, uh, where I live in California, 
uh, the town is, it's not run down. It might be in like 10 years, 15 years, who the fuck knows. But um, it's, <clears throat> it's pretty peaceful. I'd say Elk Grove is pretty peaceful. Sacramento has its parts that are not, and you know, like it's a city, so of course it's going to be like that. But um, what's really funny to me is that, like, the foothills of California, which is where my buddy lives in, in Placerville, uh, Placerville is very white, very, very fucking white. People who are, for the better part, well off, um, but it's very white. There are people of color in Placerville, but majority, and when I say white, I'm not talking about just skin color, I'm talking about like attitude and personality uh he's lived there for so long that when he would come into elk grove to pick me up and drop me off he was always like concerned that he was in the ghetto and i'm like you're not in the fucking ghetto because because where the actual like i've been to the actual ghetto of like sacramento and shit like that and it's like hey if you see something going on at the corner of your eye don't fucking look at it kind of like ghetto right um that shit doesn't really happen in Elk Grove. I mean, it does, but it's very rare. Uh, um, however, the other day, like, we heard gunshots straight up. Like, the, my dogs were, like, terrified. Um, and it turned out that, like, uh, the cops were called on somebody who just, like, fired their gun in the air because they found out they were going to be a dad. That was it. People are stupid. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, can you... Maybe not do that. It'd be great. But, um, hey, we're going to have to wrap it up just because I have to get ready before uh, my mom's shot today. So, because I have to walk her in there because she's skilled. She's skilled of people. It, it sucks that so many people have developed agoraphobia over the pandemic. I think that's the right term. Yeah, yeah. agoraphobia. Phobia. Um, Phobia. Agor- agoraphobia, sorry. <laughs> now you can't make fun of me for miss saying words and i can't make fun of you for that um, oh no I, I admit that i said it i didn't mean to <laughs> i know the proper term well i know you do but I'm still gonna fuck you over a verbal typo um it happens it does happen uh but yeah guys that's gonna do it for this week we're gonna watch loki episode three next week we don't have anything else planned um i personally plan on watching uh, uh luck dragon and uh in the heights because I want to watch those. Um, eventually Luna when that comes to Disney Plus, but I don't know the date of that. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to review those for our YouTube channel. Uh, well, that reminds me, I got those two YouTube videos I need to process. I kept forgetting. to. I've, I recorded those like literally like a week and a half ago, and I just kept forgetting to send them to you. Um, but those are on, on MODOK and... Uh, Borat Subsequential Material. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, make sure you follow the socials down below. Uh, if you want a, a, a shirt or a mug, you can go to our Teespring store. And Yes, uh, and that code to use for 10% off of all items on the Teespring store is A-Q-U-T-E-N. All queued up 10. A-Q-U-T-E-N. Are you so going, did we have out. somebody... Did we have somebody recently who uh, bought something? We did. A buddy of mine, Eric Von Wolfenstein, a friend from the realm of collectors. Uh, we posted on our Instagram account of him showing off his shirt. He's like, you should hire me to model your shirts. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Great, hilarious pose. You know, he's being all sexy and everything. It was funny as shit. That's um, awesome. Yeah. But because of that you know it led to a couple of more sales so keep if you buy a shirt send us a picture show us your shirt show us your mug show us whatever and you know we'll feature you uh it it, not only does it make us feel good that you're supporting us but it can also help generate future support by you know somebody saying hey that's what the cool kids are fucking doing i want to be like them and get them a shirt too. <laughs> yeah, who's who's the ladies in the square dude holding beer? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I had to make that joke. Uh, yeah, no, we we would greatly appreciate it. Um, but like Maya said, yeah, send us, you know, let us know, and we'll uh, we'll definitely feature it. Unless you don't want to be featured, but we still appreciate it regardless. Yeah. Uh, 
but yeah, like like we mentioned earlier, the YouTube channel. Um, that's where I'm going to be doing side reviews. Uh, aren't you going to be doing some too, Betty? Soon, I'm going to try. Okay. Uh, also, I had an idea um, before I get to the end of the YouTube thing because I have a joke with that. Uh, we have a TikTok um, that we plan on putting stuff on. Uh, Betty, if you want, what we can do is uh, you film the video and then I can put it on the TikTok. Like send it to me and I'll put it on the TikTok. Because then I have to that. that. All right. Um, but I also need to edit clips from our podcast itself and post that. But anyway, yeah, go go follow the TikTok. If you're on TikTok, go follow it. And we'll have stuff there that you can kind of watch, I guess. Um, but uh, but yeah, we also on the on the YouTube channel we have uh, the video version of the podcast. Um, and if you're if you're an audio listener, uh, go go hit up the YouTube channel real quick. Give it a follow. Give it a like. Uh, maybe make a comment. Also smash that bell as they say on the channel and you know what's funny about that is i always thought of like weird ways that you could say that <laughs> you know, like deflower the bell button um because i've heard like obliterate the bell the bell button or demolish it <laughs> i was like what's an offensive way to put that and deflower was always really funny to me but uh anyway that joke did not land like i expected it to so no. i'm gonna delete that off my notes <laughs> Uh, anyway all right that's it for everybody that uh, all the shit that you can find us on uh maya where can folks find you uh you can find me on facebook under my name maya dawn fisher uh, public profile so if you wish to follow me or mm -hmm. follow me on instagram or twitter uh you can do so there um if you want to catch me on other shows i'm on two shows on the realm of collectors youtube channel every other wednesday night actually an episode tonight uh, uh i'm a figure banging at 9 30 p.m eastern tonight as we're recording this but this past wednesday if you're listening and also every friday night at 9 p.m on nerd life syndicate uh, where we talk about various things in pop culture nerd related news and tv shows movies comics toys collectibles etc all over the place a lot of fun uh, we bust a lot of balls, uh, especially on Russ. It's great. Uh, but those are the places you can find me. What about you, Betty? Where can people find you? Uh, they can find me on Facebook at um, Betty Badger Ogletree, and they can find me on Twitter at Bright Betty. And what about you, Greg? Uh, you can find me on all socials under Chub Rock Geek. Um, also, I do a podcast with my buddy Anthony uh, called uh, Mission Start Podcast. We're doing uh, coverage on all stuff regarding E3 and announcements this next few weeks. So if that's something you're into, um, go check that out on missionstartpodcast.com. I think we still have that URL. But regardless, on our YouTube channel, which is Mission Start Tubes, and um, if you search for just Mission Start, you should be able to find the podcast on any of the podcast platforms you listen to. But... Um, yeah, other than that, guys, uh, thank you so much for listening. Um, be a decent human being. Just be nice to your fellow man. Like, if you go into a store and you see someone behind you, open the like, let them in first. Open the door for them. Uh, you know, compliment someone's shirt. Com like, go when you're in the grocery store and you see someone wearing a shirt that you like, just say, "I like your shirt," and then move on. It'll it'll brighten their day. Just do that. Just do that once. I promise you it's 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 free and it 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 harms nobody and it makes somebody smile. So um yeah, go do that. And we'll see you next week. Peace, love and Bolly Pops. Heroes go down. Do it. Oh yeah, Take hashtag care, every hashtag Batman eats pussy. Take care everybody. <laughs>